Kieran, you'd be delighted with the result. What's your assessment of the performance? Um, mixed bag. Uh, probably two different halves. Um, I thought first half we, we controlled the game well. Um, had a lot of possession. They, they didn't really cause us any threat at all. Um, but we didn't quite get the penetration that we wanted. Um, didn't manage to get in the areas that we wanted to as much as we as much as we think we can. Um, second half, we had a lot more penetration, got down the side of the box. We had a goal threat right through the half, but probably lost control for maybe 10, 15 minutes of the game, and, and it was it was in the balance. So um, some good bits of the performance, definitely some bits to improve, but at the end, you know, clean sheet away from home, um, lots of positives to take, two wins in, in the space of four days. So we'll take that and, and we'll move on. What was the mood going in at half-time and what did you feel needed to be looked at? Yeah, I thought, I say, we, we had really good control in the first half, but we didn't manage to get enough bodies high up the pitch, didn't manage to get enough penetrating runs, I say, into the areas, especially down the side of the box where we wanted to get to. So, um, yeah, we, we made a little change at half-time um, in terms of team organisation, and we managed to get more of those runs in the second half. We managed to get in some more dangerous areas. Um, it, we probably opened up the game a little bit as well, which allowed them to have their spell. So yeah, I guess it's risk and reward. Um, we wanted to, we wanted the three points. We weren't happy at half the time to settle for a draw by any means. So we, we took some risks and, and thankfully it went our way. You just touched upon it in your first answer, but was that 10, 15 minutes after the break where we didn't concede, was that a key period? It was, yeah. It's, um, yeah, look, we need to look at it. it. It can happen in the game, but I thought we gave away a couple of daft free kicks. Um, we got caught in the emotion of the game. Um, we, we didn't manage to... We didn't manage the, game, the flow of the game well at that stage. So, um, yeah, obviously that, that resulted in they had one or two chances on set plays. Obviously had one very big chance. Um, thankfully, the, the ball bounced our way. Um, you need that sometimes coming away from home. It's not going to be all smooth sailing. I think that's probably the, the only real moment they had in the game until the, the shot over the bar in the 95th minute. So, yeah, you, you need a bounce of the ball in your box sometimes. Um, we got that in that moment and we were able to capitalise. But after that, a quality... Excuse me, quality break and a quality goal. What are your views on that one? Yeah, look, we look like we have a good threat on that at the moment. Um, it's it's something that we've spoke about. We want to be able to control and dominate the ball in their half and create chances that way. But we also we want to have the the mentality and the athleticism to be able to break over big distances. Um, obviously, we managed to do that again. We scored a goal like that on Saturday. Very similar goals in a lot of ways. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's pleasing. It's, it's pleasing to have that aspect to our game. It's important to be able to score goals in different ways, and, and that's one that's obviously was productive for us tonight. At one nil, was what was the mindset? Were you thinking, do we be solid here or do we go for the second? What were you sort of thinking at that point? No, we wanted to go for the second. Um, I think you can see that in the subs. Really, we, we yeah. brought on Santi and Connor for a, a different type of threat, and, and we wanted to get a little bit more control in the ball and find little pockets of space. So. Um, that was the mentality. Obviously, Macaulay came on as well, done really well to set up Wes for the goal. He gave us a, a, a different type of focal point, secured the ball and a really good switch of play. So, no, we, we, we definitely didn't want to sit on 1 0. We wanted to get a second goal. We knew that was going to be massive, and thankfully, we managed to do that. And from then, we, we felt comfortable in the last 10 minutes or so. How pleased were you with how direct Wes was being tonight? Constantly getting at his man and then paid dividends, didn't it? Yeah, that's what it's all about for Wes. Um, you know, that's his strengths. It's important that everyone plays to the strengths. Um, he's stretching the game well for us at the moment. It gives us a, a good option because, you know, we have players who can play in the middle of the pitch and find little combinations in the middle. But if obviously if we if we manage to narrow a team up well enough, then, then Wes and Kane on the other side did a good job of stretching the play and having a threat. So, um, yeah, we're finding Wes in that position at the moment. He's, he's on a good vein of form. He's working hard um, for the team on both ends of the pitch. So... That's pleasing and, and we hope he can continue that sort of form. Were you pleased with the midfield tonight as well, Kieran? Because we've seen TC now come in for two games and, and, and put a real good shift in and Tyreek, of course, making his first start this evening. Yeah, pleased. Not easy. Obviously, first time they've um, started uh, a game together, so yeah. that was that's, that's not easy. Um, Tyreek's only been here for a few days and he's had two appearances and two wins already, yeah. so... That's nice for him. I said, TC, we feel like he's, he's getting stronger, definitely. Uh, I've seen it over the last few weeks in training. He's, he's finding his rhythm, um, finding his rhythm throughout Saturday. I thought he was in a pretty good rhythm all night tonight, um, put in a good performance. So, yeah, obviously we, we have a couple of absentees in that area at the moment. Um, it's why it's important to have good depth, good depth in the squad. And Tom and, and uh, Tyreek have came in and put in a good performance. Just finally, the only dampener of the evening, of course, uh, KVY sent off at the end and, and missing Sam Moores at the weekend as well. So a few decisions to make. Yeah, of course. Um, look, we have a big squad, so 
we'll, uh, we'll find the solutions. It's a, it's a massive game for us on Saturday. Um, we got a few days now to rest and then prepare the game. So, yeah, disappointed for Kane. I thought the I thought the first yellow card was harsh. Really, um, I didn't didn't quite understand the yellow. So, when that happened, Joy's in a bit of a tight rope. He, he, he probably only made one foul, maybe two fouls all night. So, um, yeah, a bit harsh to, to receive two yellows. Disappointed we won't have them for Saturday, but you know we'll we'll find a way.